Hello people, it's Richie here again. Just a quick video today, which will, will be filed under my unnecessary plastic use and packaging playlist. I went down to Screwfix yesterday, which is a supplier of DIY materials and building materials here in the UK. You've got branches all over the country. I needed a can of wood preserver for a fence project I'm doing in the garden and bought a can of their, like their own brand, no nonsense wood treatment, which was that cost £25, which is quite a bit cheaper than like Cupronol and Ron Seal and that. Their, their equivalents are about £35, £40 for much the same thing. Paint, paint, paint wood treatments cost a fortune now here in the UK and probably everywhere else as well. But anyway, the point in this video is the pod that comes in a 5 litre metal can, tightly sealed on the top, but packaged in the, in the plastic bag, which is a bit daft, isn't it? So why, why do they find the need to package a, a tightly sealed metal can in a sealed plastic bag? I mean, it makes a bit of a mockery of it, really, because it means got, you've got a handle, got a handle on the top of the can, but you can't use it. Because you can't get your fingers through it because it's in a plastic bag all sealed up. I mean, I don't know if it's like some EU regulation that's got to be done, but I think that's a complete waste of unnecessary use of plastic. And when all the companies are like trying to reduce plastic use and that, aren't they nowadays? I think that's completely unnecessary, isn't it? Putting a sealed metal can in a plastic bag. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Whether it's some like EU regulation or some sort of silly law or just, I don't know really. So if anyone knows why they have to package a metal can within a plastic bag, let me know. So we'll see you on the next one people. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers. See you on the next one.